Welcome to JET, the complete report management system. JET is now integrated into the Insight software platform. JET Hub and JET Service Tier are the server components of JET. This video talks about how to install platform-enabled JET Service Tier, or JET Hub, with Microsoft Entra ID authentication. Let us get started. To install JET Hub, you must first download the JET Hub setup program from the Insight software downloads page. After downloading the setup program, you must register the license in the Insight software platform. Open the JET Report Services setup program. Scroll to the bottom of the license agreement and select the checkbox to agree to the terms and conditions. Then click Continue. Next, you will be asked for a product activation code. You can find this code in the email from the JET Orders team. Enter the platform-specific activation code and then click Next. Select the features you want to install and click Next. Note that the JET Administration Console is not available when installing JET using an Entra ID or basic user authentication. Now you must configure the network connection settings. Enter the appropriate values for tier host, tier port, and URL of the JET Hub online portal. Click Next. On the Authentication page, select Microsoft Entra ID. Then click Next. Select Log into my account and use your organization credentials to log in to your Insight software account. In the JET Setup Program window, you are now logged in and your email and organization details are displayed. It might take some time for the details to be displayed. Verify your account is in the correct organization. Then, click Next. Now you need the values for Tenant ID, Client ID, and Client Secret. To get the required values, you must register the JET Hub application in Microsoft Azure. Open the Azure portal and select App Registration. The Register an Application page is displayed. Enter a display name for the application. In the Supported Account Types, retain the default selection, that is, Account in this organizational directory only. Click Register. From the Application Overview page, make a note of the Application Client ID and the Directory Tenant ID. These values will be used in the installation of Jet Hub. Next, go to the Certificates and Secrets page and click New Client Secret. Add a description and an appropriate expiry date for the client secret. Make a note of the secret value for later use. Note that the secret value is required and not the secret ID. The next step is to configure the application you just registered. In the side menu of the Azure portal, select Authentication. In the Platform Configuration section, click Add a Platform. Select Web. In the Redirect URI section, enter your Jet Hub URL. Make sure that the URL starts with HTTPS and contains the base URL that users use to sign in to the Jet Hub. The URL should either contain the machine name on which the Jet Hub is installed or the DNS entry for the Jet Hub site. In the Front Channel Logout URL section, add the URLs shown on screen. Click the checkbox for access tokens and ID tokens. Click Configure. In the Web Redirect URIs section, add the URIs shown on screen. The URIs are also mentioned in the description of this video for your convenience. Please note that the JetHub URL should be that of the machine you want to install JetHub on. Under Supported Account Types, retain the selection for accounts in this organizational directory only. Under Advanced Settings, enable the Public Client Flows to Yes. Then, save the settings. Go to the API Permissions page and click Add a Permission. In the Microsoft APIs tab, select Microsoft Graph. In the Delegated Permissions window, search for Files. Then expand and select Files Read and Files Read All. Search for Group and select Group Read All. Similarly, find and select the following. Offline Access, Profile and Open ID. Finally, search for User and select User Read and User Read All. Next, go to Application Permissions. Search for Directory, then expand and select Directory Read All. Similarly, search for Files and select Files Read All, and Files Read Write All. Search for Group and select Group Read All. Search for User and select User Read All. After selecting all the permissions, click Add Permissions. Go to the JET Setup program. Enter the Tenant ID, Client ID, and Client Secret that you had noted earlier. Click Next. In the Register Your On-Premise License window, select Register License. 
you will be redirected to the Register Service window in the Insight software platform. Do not close the Jet Setup window. You will need it to configure your application. To register the service in the Insight software platform, click Register Service in the Service to Service page of the platform. Enter a name for JetHub, the tenant ID and the application ID. Then select Add Platform API to Azure Tenant. You will be redirected to the platform login page. Use an admin account to log in. Click Accept. You should see a success message on the page. On the Service to Service page of the Insight software platform, click Register Service. Now, you must grant permissions. Go to the Azure portal. On the API Permissions page, click Add a Permission. In the APIs My Organization Uses tab, find and open the Licensing Products API. In Delegated Permissions, select Access as User. In Application Permissions, select Licenses Read. Click Add Permissions. On the API Permissions page, click Grant Admin Consent for JET Reports. In the Confirmation window, select Yes. The final step of installing JetHub is to configure the application. Go to the JET Setup Program window. On the Register Your On-Premise License page, select Next. Select Network Service and enable Add Rules to Windows Firewall. Then click Next. In the Configure the Jet Hub Settings page, select the recommended option, then click Next. Now, choose how you want to sign in to the database. If you want to sign in using SQL Server instance, select Login using the service Run As Account and provide the required information. If you want to sign in using Database Authentication, select Login using Database Authentication and provide the required information. Then, click Next. Sign in to the Microsoft account. Your name and account is displayed. Click Next. Select the checkboxes to launch Jet Reports and add a desktop shortcut. Click Install. Jet Hub installation begins. Once the installation is complete, you are all set to configure Jet Reports for your organization. Please share your thoughts and suggestions with us via this email. Additionally, for more information, access the Insights Software's product documentation. Links are provided in the description. Thank you.